I'm supposed to be on the whole 30. It's fine. <laughs> Supposed to be learning things with you. That's what this is about. How do people drink black coffee? I'm just trying to eat healthy. Hey everyone! So I actually did the whole 30 challenge for the month of June, and oh my goodness, it was so much more work than I thought it would be. I mean, I knew it was going to be a challenge. That might be why they call it a challenge. But honestly, the hardest part was not really doing the Whole30 because the recipes were pretty easy. They were easy to look up, easy to cook, easy to like make into lunch the next day. I think the hardest part was just like staying under budget. I try to keep my groceries under 100 a week. But for those of you who don't know what the Whole30 is, I'm actually going to pull up the rules because I forgot them. So the Whole30 program is actually a brand. It has a website, it has a book, so you can actually pay for the book. And I'm not doing that because the point is to eat like whole food to make you feel full and to kind of start to eliminate things out of your diet that you don't necessarily need. Our, a summary of the program is you do not consume added sugar that includes real or artificial, which is really difficult because I love putting sugar in my coffee every morning. Honestly, that's probably gonna be the hardest part. I can deal with no added sugar and everything else. I just love coffee. Well, number two, do not consume alcohol in any form that includes cooking. Do not eat any grains. So this includes wheat, rye, barley, oats, corn, rice, any sprouted grains. I don't know what that means. No quinoa, buckwheat. This includes added wheat, corn, rice into our food. Rest in peace pasta. No ligaments. Legumes? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's basically beans. So no black, red, pinto, navy, white, kidney, lima beans, no chickpeas, lentils. And this also includes peanuts and soy, so that includes soy sauce, miso, tofu, and any other soy ingredients. Do not eat dairy of any forms. No ice cream. So the point of this for me was not necessarily for weight loss. It was just kind of like to kickstart that healthy lifestyle. And I'm also quite obsessed with fads. I think that they're fun. And I always want to try the new fad, even if I know that it's kind of stupid. I just think it's fun. I just did a weekly meal plan that I knew would be under budget. Most of the time I was able to get under 100 because there were things that I didn't need to buy every single week because I already had it. So all of this is going to be up on my blog as well. I'll post that so you don't have to pay for a book for all of this. But you will have like full access to my menu for the week and also I'm going to show you some recipes right now. So it's the first morning of me attempting to make a Whole30 approved breakfast. And I think I did a pretty good job. I typically eat just like a fried egg and avocado for breakfast anyways. So all I did was incorporate some um, turkey sausage because I thought it would be good to have a little more protein throughout the day. Uh, make sure you read the back of the sausage because you're not supposed to have added sugar. And I made the mistake of buying sausage that actually contained like one gram of sugar or something in it. And then in my coffee, I'm not supposed to have stevia, so I'm going to be having uh, coconut milk, which already naturally has a little sweetness to it, but hopefully I'm able to actually drink it and enjoy it in the morning. Here it is. I have a really cute coffee mug. I put about two thirds a cup of coconut milk in my coffee and it's still quite dark for my taste. So one thing that I realized while walking work is that I forgot to pack my lunch, which is probably one of the 
the worst mistakes that you can make <laughs> if you're on a budget, especially in DC, because now I'm probably going to have to pay about $13 for a salad. So for dinner, I kind of made my go-to like healthy meal that's also really, really good, tacos. So I got the turkey and onions, lettuce over here, I added some avocado. I found some salsa that didn't have any added sugar, some peppers, and now we have this beauty. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm on day three now, and at work, I was told by my coworker that tomorrow is actually my day for uh, breakfast. We have like a breakfast club. So I could make like a whole 30 approved breakfast. I just wanted to make a good impression on my coworkers, and so I decided to make a casserole that my um, mom has been making for years because I know it's delicious. So I'm not even going to be able to eat my own breakfast, so hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> I think it's for her. And then this is the breakfast I'm making for Oh my goodness. Creamy deliciousness that I don't get to eat. It's Friday night and I would usually have a glass of wine with my dinner, but I can't. So I'm having my wine. Well, not my wine. Maybe if I was Jesus, it would be wine. I have my water in a wine glass, and Eska's all excited because she loves water, and she thinks it's for her. All right, you can have some too. I'm cooking my dinner right here, and Joe has his dinner right here. So I've gotten pretty crafty with my leftovers. So this is the leftover chicken with mushrooms and onion. And then I just added some zoodles to it. I had some tomato sauce left over. And then I garnished it with some basil from my balcony. So a quick note before anybody goes out and buys everything that you need all throughout the week. Um, don't get pre-packaged zoodles and then wait until Saturday to eat them because, oh my gosh, I didn't know that they went bad so easily and this tastes disgusting. So, this is what we're going to do. It is currently 8.30. Um, the nearest Target or grocery store is about a 15 minute drive. I'm completely out of food, just wasted all of my chicken because I already mix it with the zoodles for lunch tomorrow, so we're getting full. Yep, I'm handing in the towel tonight. I'm hungry. It's too late for this. I'm really bad at this. And here we have Whole30 beef and broccoli, so I have Joe's food in the rice cooker and then I have the broccoli steaming on the top. So you can see. Here's my broccoli steaming. Joe has his rice and I have my beef. This is the end result. So for tonight I'm making some zucchini noodles. It's actually just really thinly chopped up zucchini because I found out that it is way cheaper to chop up your own zucchini than to buy zucchini noodles. It's like a six dollar difference. So we're having zucchini noodles and I'm making turkey meatballs. So these are the turkey meatballs. It's a ground up turkey breast and then I added salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic. I have some fresh basil from my herb garden and then I have some dried basil as well. And then I added some egg to it to kind of thicken it up. So you, you can't use breadcrumbs because that has bread in it obviously, but this is extremely good. I'm going to add in some mushrooms and then I have some chopped up onion. So I'll add that to the meatballs and then I'll just pour the sauce right on top of it. Here are my noodles. So I just put them in the oven 
on 425 for maybe 10 or 15 minutes or so just until they get a little bit golden brown. Make sure you put olive oil on the bottom so it doesn't stick and then I added salt, pepper, and just Italian seasoning. Babe's making me dinner tonight. Emma? It includes bacon. Yes, I can eat bacon. And then we have mushrooms and onions. Cooked and bacon fat. Cooked and bacon fat that we're gonna use to make a sauce. And then we have potatoes, zucchini, and there's the chicken. Oh my god. Got a babe that can cook. We don't have any pans yet, so we had to make our own pans. But we have sides of potatoes and then a zucchini that I just put some Italian seasoning on it. Overall, I think it was a really good experience. It definitely opened up my eyes to what is in my food that I buy. And it just made me a really more, um, a little more cautious of what I buy at the grocery store. I'm definitely going to take some of these recipes and try to implement them more into like my daily life. Especially buying everything on Sunday and then just cooking things throughout the week, I found was actually really nice. And I think I'm just going to stick to more of like the 80-20 rule because that just fits in with my lifestyle a little more. I do work out on a regular basis so I really don't need to be like super cautious of my diet. A lot of people report better sleep, better skin, of course, weight loss, um, more energy, which is what I was hoping for. Unfortunately, I didn't feel too different. Of course, I didn't feel like so heavy after meals. My skin actually, in case you can't tell, looks amazing, which I read that that could be just from cutting out dairy. So I think I'm going to stick with the coconut milk and try to use um, olive oil instead of butter. I did find that these meals filled me up. You're not supposed to be hungry. I think that's the number one rule that you're supposed to take from this. Is This is just healthy ways to be able to eat while feeling good and not having to feel guilty about what you're eating. So if you're hungry, eat and you can just kind of like take what you learned from that month and try to implement it into little ways like I'm doing with reading labels and then just trying to not eat so much dairy. So if you like this video be sure to subscribe and like it obviously. Um, follow me on Instagram. I have like a professional Instagram and then a personal Instagram and I post uh, a lot of cooking videos on my personal Instagram if you'd like to follow and check that out. If you like this video and want to see me do more bad diets, comment down below what you would like to see me do. I'm all for like suggestions. I think they're so much fun. Other than that, be sure to subscribe.